Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can use the DJI Fly app to auto edit all your drone footage. Now this is technically part two. In part one, we took a look at how to edit more traditionally on a timeline with the Fly app. But today we're going to be talking about how to do auto editing. Some people just don't have the time or the want to edit their drone footage. They're more into the flying the capturing, the cinematics of it. But the DJI Fly app has tools built in that can auto edit all your drone footage. And it doesn't matter whether you're flying something like the Mini 4 Pro here, the Mavic Air series, the Mavic 3 series, the Flip or the DJI Neo. In fact, while using the DJI Fly app, you can use any footage from any device that you've captured on. So I will include part one down in the description of this video if you want to learn more about more traditional timeline editing. And I'll also include a video on how to get the footage off your drone if you're not quite sure how to do that if you're brand new. At this point, I'm going to assume you've already transferred over the content to your device. I'm going to be demonstrating on an iPad, but this will work the same way on a phone and you can use Android or iOS devices. The Fly app is actually a really powerful tool when it comes to editing. It's really easy and it has a lot of features. So even if you're using something like the DJI RC2 that has the Fly app built into it, you still may want to download the Fly app to one of your mobile devices for editing your footage. To get into the editor, what we're going to do is click on the create button down there at the bottom. And you're going to notice right away that on the device, we do have to edit in a portrait format. Now you can edit the footage as a 16 by nine or nine by 16, but the device, if you're going to be editing on an iPad does have to be portrait. So when you launch the editor, this is the page that you're going to come to. At the top here, we have new project and we have one tap edit. The new project is basically if you're going to be doing the timeline editing, as I demonstrated in my previous video, what we're going to be focusing on today is this one tap edit. Now there's two different ways in which we can get into auto editing. As mentioned, we can use the one tap edit button, or we can scroll through some pre-made templates down here and I'll demonstrate both ways. So let's start here with one tap edit. What that's going to do is bring up all the footage that we currently have stored on the device. Now it's important to note that any footage you want to use has to be in some form of an album. For example, if you're filming stuff directly on your iPhone, it's not going to be in any album yet. If you transfer footage over from your action camera or your drone, it'll automatically be placed in the DJI album. And you can switch back and forth between the different albums just by tapping there at the top, select the album that you want that has the footage that you want in it. And then you can go ahead and access all those videos. So next, what we have to do is select the footage that we want included into our auto edit. So I'm just gonna tap a few of these videos here. And it does give us a message there at the bottom for best results, you should select at least five clips. So I have eight clips selected. Now, one thing we can do before we continue, uh, the first thing we can do is click on that expanding icon at the top of the video. That's going to bring the video up full screen. And that allows us to go through and preview it to see exactly what it is, to see if it is something we want to include in our edit. But the other thing we can do from this page is add a highlight marker. You can see it's going to add a marker there. And we do that if there are certain spots that we for sure want to be included in the auto edit. Now that step does not have to be done. The DJI Fly app is going to analyze the footage to try and find the best moments. But that can be a very important thing to do if there's a specific segment that you want included. The highlight markers that we've added are down at the bottom there. If you've added one accidentally, we can just tap on the X and that will get rid of it. At the bottom here, we can highlight each one of these clips and drag it around as this will be the order that will be added to the project. But once we're in, we can do some other fine tuning as well, which we will take a look at. Once you have all the clips selected that you want, we're going to hit next. And at this point, it's going to analyze the files to find the best moments. And this could take some time. It could take anywhere from a few minutes up to five minutes, depending on how much footage you have selected. As you can see there, it didn't take very long at all. And what we're going to be presented with is an auto edit. I probably selected about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour's worth of footage, but it edited it down to one minute and four seconds. And of course we can adjust that at any time. At this point you can preview it. It's gonna have music in there and you can see if it's something that you're happy with. Now there's a lot we can do to customize it, but a few other things I wanna show you here before we get too far into things. Uh, the first thing we can do is set our aspect ratio. Right now we're in a 16 by 9, which is a more traditional aspect for platforms such as YouTube. But we can tap on that. 
And as you can see, we can now also export it as a 9 by 16. Now, if you want to make some of your own adjustments, so you're not quite happy with a few segments or you want to change the audio that it's using, down here at the bottom, we have all the different templates that we can select. You can see they have different themes at the top there. We have winter, aerial, seaside, nature, cheerful, relaxed, and tempo. So you could select aerial. It's going to load the new template, and you can go ahead and preview it again as well. If you like the theme, what it's done with the video footage and the cuts and everything, you can leave it the way that is, but we can adjust just the music track by tapping on music. We can then click on the more button, and that's going to bring up the whole music library. The other thing we can do is go down to edit. As you can see here, it gives us all the clips included in the edit that it's made. We can tap on any one of them and move it around if we want to change the order. When you're done, you just have to confirm order. We can also select any one of these clips. Let's select this one here. We can press on the extract button. And as you can see, it shows us the segment of the video in which that clip is from. But what we can do is drag the video clip and we can adjust when the video starts and stops. So if it's uh, something a little bit more interesting that you think looks better, you can adjust it accordingly. We can adjust the speed of the clip. We can also crop the video. So if you want it zoomed in a little bit, we can again select the clip. We're going to tap on crop. And then we just crop in to whereabouts we want it. We can replace that clip altogether. If we tap on the replace, that's going to bring us back to the gallery where we can select a new clip. We can go ahead and delete a clip if we decide we don't want that particular clip in the edit. We can add different text and effects to each clip. There's an option for text. It's going to type in drone video. And as you can see, it gives us an option to place text over the video. We can grab the handles if we want it longer throughout different parts of the video. Once you have an auto edit done, if you want even more flexibility, we can actually convert this over to a traditional timeline, and that's going to give us even more control. And we do so by tapping this button here called Edit More. And as you can see, it brings up the actual timeline, very similar to if you were just doing more traditional editing. It gives us all the tools there at the bottom that you would normally have. And then again, you can go ahead and export it. Once you're happy with the edit, we can tap on this button here. That's going to allow us to set our resolution. We can go all the way from 720 all the way up to 4K. And we can set our frame rate from 30 FPS all the way up to 60 FPS. Once you're happy, we just tap export. And it's going to go ahead and create the video and it will save it to your camera roll. When it's done exporting the video, it's going to give us some tools built right into the Fly app that we can go ahead and share to social media. Or again, you can go into your camera roll or photos app and share it manually as well. Now I'm going to go back to the main page here. If you've been working on an edit, but you never quite got it finished or you want to go in and make some changes, it will automatically save it to the drafts folder here at the top. As you can see, here are all the different projects that I've been working on. This top one is the one that we were just doing. We can tap on it and that's going to bring it up so you can make changes to it and re-export it if you want to make any adjustments. Now, the other thing we can do is go through some of these pre-made templates. We're going to tap on there for hiking adventure. It's going to give us a preview of what it's going to look like if we're happy with it. It tells us that it needs 15 clips and the duration is going to be 25.1 seconds. If we're happy with that, we can click on use. It gives us all the blank spots there at the bottom that we need to fill up. And to fill them up, we just tap on different video clips here. I just used everything I had. We didn't have enough to fill it up. We're one short, but we can even take a few away if we want. For most of these templates, you don't have to fill them right up. We'll tap on next. Again, it's going to analyze the footage and then it's going to go ahead and create the edit. And there we go there. It's gone ahead and created the edit. And just like the other method, we can go through and edit it and make some fine tune adjustments. So yeah, folks, that is a quick look at the DJI Fly app for auto editing. Again, for some people, this is going to be a great solution because you don't have the time or the want to learn how to do editing, which can be a little bit complex. This, for the most part, does a really good job and makes nice little clips that you can share to your social media, share with your family and friends, and you can just focus on flying and capturing content. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.